Hello everybody, it's nice to see you all again. This is going to be the first playthrough I've had in maybe four weeks. That's since recording at least. Uh, maybe five, actually. That Yeah, that'd be a little bit closer. Maybe five weeks since I've recorded anything. And it's going to be longer since I'm going to update, uh, upload this much later than, um, than I'm recording this at the current. I tried to make an attempt to record a different game, but it didn't go so well and it didn't go how I planned, so I'm just going to scrap that recording and I'm going to redo that game. But for now, I've decided on a different game to start with. And as you know, if you've seen my update, I'm going to do these playthroughs in the theme of the Seven Deadly Sins. Um, seven playthroughs all at the same time, one for each day of the week uh, in their own respective days regardless of the condition unless I forget some time and I'll apologize for that by the way but if that happens I'm sorry um, anyways the first playthrough, the first playthrough theme that I'm going to be dealing with today is Sloth now that's one that a lot of people don't know among the seven deadly sins if they know any which is actually highly unlikely um, but sloth is basically laziness, so that's going to be my character for this whole playthrough. That's who I'm going to be playing as. And since I'm personally affected by sloth, it's not going to be that hard. I'm going to be complaining all the time, you know. Well, not complaining as in annoying, but complaining as in, Oh, I gotta walk up these stairs, oh god. You know, that kind of stuff. So you might be able to recognize the game now, since it's jumped right in. I'm playing another Crash game, look at that. But besides this game, there are no other Crash games among the Seven Deadly Sins games that I'm going to be dealing with. So you don't have to worry about that. Anyways, so yeah, my third playthrough, although it wasn't my original plan, is going to be Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex. Now isn't that crazy? I didn't expect that I'd be playing this game either, but I had to deal with some amount of games to fit the seven, and I couldn't pass this one up because so many people demanded another Crash game. A lot of you demanded Twin Sanity, I know that, and I could not get my hands on it, so for right now I'm hoping this will tide you Crash fans over until I can get my hands on Twin Sanity and play it sometime in the future. But other than that, I've already mentioned how this is going to be the only Crash game among the seven deadly sins, so let's jump right into it. Uh, that's my that's my real name, by the way, for those of you who are confused. My real name is Alec. A-L-E-C. Ooh, a spaceship! Looks like a flying needle. Alright, let's watch the cutscene. Imbeciles! Fools! Nincompoops! Can't you idiots do anything right? Engine! According to this, your track record for spreading evil is pathetic! Ooka ooka, it's not our fault that Richard Bandicoot is to blame. I will not let anything stand in the way of evil. Especially not a brainless orange marsupial. Crash must be eliminated. Uh, ooka ooka, need I remind you that Crash always finds a way to defeat us? Maybe he's just too good for us. Enough excuses! You five idiots need to come up with one good plan, or else. How do I get into these situations? Ugh. There must be something we can come up with. Say, Doctor, haven't you been tinkering with some kind of new secret weapon in your laboratory? I don't know what you're talking about, Entropy. Dr. Cortex! I think he's referring to this super secret weapon you've been laboring over day and night since the last time Crash defeated you. Enough bickering! Do we have a plan? Well, in my scientific endeavors, I've been able to create a genetically advanced super weapon of unbelievable strength. But the power source is the That's it! If released, their destructive energy could create enough power to bring my secret weapon to life. We have a weapon capable of crushing mountains, demolishing entire cities, and wiping Crash Bandicoot off the face of the Earth forever! Get ready to face my wrath, Crash Bandicoot! <laughs> 
they have a plan. They all look so weird compared to Crash Tag Team Racing. Oh, well, they don't. They look about the same. that my evil twin brother Uka Uka is up to his no good tricks again. I must find out what he is planning. I'll meet up with you later. Hello, my evil brother. You have gotten my attention, Uka Uka. What kind of diabolical scheme do you and Dr. Cortex have planned this time? No scheme. Just some old familiar faces dropping by for a visit. <laughs> no, not the elementals. Uka Uka, why did you release them? Don't you know what happened the last time they were free? So they were responsible for a few earthquakes, floods, and that little ice age a couple of centuries back. You worry too much, brother. You cannot restrain them, Uka Uka. They are far too dangerous. This could spell disaster for us all. Contrary, Aku Aku. Spells disaster for you and the treasured planet you care so much about. Destroy him! You won't get away with this. <laughs> Who's going to stop us? That's my jam. Crash. Coco. It is just as I feared. Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex have freed a group of destructive masks known as the Elementals. We must find a way to stop them before they destroy the Earth and all of its inhabitants. The only way to stop the Elementals' destructive nature is to imprison them with the use of ancient crystals. Each elemental can be returned back to their hibernation state with a total of five crystals. We must act quickly. Coco, what is the status of the new portal chamber you've been working on? It's almost finished. A few little adjustments here and there and it'll be ready to go. Well done, Coco. This gives us the ideal opportunity to test it. We must hurry. Ooh. Okay, all systems are ready and operational. It's time we evened up the odds in our favor. Well, that was interesting. We Now, I don't know. Uh-oh. Crash Bandicoot, my old nemesis. How the heck are you? Still gathering crystals? Old habits die hard, don't they? My days are being spent on something much more intriguing. Meet Crunch, my newest creation. Crunch. This is the creature who keeps sabotaging your master plan. Ha! You Look at gotta this. be kidding. I'll exterminate this field rat in no time. Now, Crunch, your time with Crash will come soon enough. Isn't he brilliant? A testament to my true scientific genius. A real bandicoot warrior. Unlike you, Crash. Oh, well, we all make mistakes. Ta-ta for now. What's going on with that? Crunch is a bad guy. That's insane. Alright, so 
I hope you don't mind, but I need to get used to the controls real quick. Real quick. B apparently crouches. You can move while you're crouching. Oh, that's not a crouch, but whatever. A is jump, obviously. Y, that checks your stats. X spins. All right. Right button, left button, nothing, nothing. Right trigger, left trigger, nothing, nothing. Click stick. No. No, right stick does nothing. Left stick moves. Okay. So that's cool. I can, I can deal with that. All right. So here we have the game. Now, I guess now is as good a time as any to tell you about the game. The game received moderate reviews from critics. It received, yeah, for the most part, reviews ranged within the five to seven range. Five out, of, five to seven out of ten range. So it was rated poorly uh, among standards to other games, and, but it was rated about the same as Crash Tag Team Racing, and I love that game. And apparently, you guys did too, because first episode already has over a thousand views, and the um, entire playthrough has, I think zero dislikes which is really cool um but okay so i've made the point this game isn't the greatest in the world but i find it uh fun and it's a good crash game and although it's not as solid as many others i found it fun when i was playing it myself because this was the only one other one that i played besides crash tag team racing so okay i'm gonna end the episode here because i've rambled on long enough and those cutscenes took a while so thank you guys for watching this episode of crash tag of i gotta get used to that uh, thank you guys for watching this episode of Crash Wrath of Cortex. In the next episode, we are going to go into the first area and see what's up. So, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, see you guys later.